My name's Rich from Bug Out Vehicles UK and in this video you're going to see a start to finish fabrication of a high-end wheel carrier and why are you going to get this one over a budget one. So good morning, welcome to the build. We're at Mule Vans now and this wasn't a purchase I was expecting to get straight away because I was going to camper it out then get the Gucci bits however I came to get the side pods off of Sean and uh, yeah he talked me into uh, buying a wheel carrier so let's have a look start to finish how this thing's actually made so when i say this is a high-end one this is one of the low end options this is the kind of thing that you'd normally see there's nothing wrong with this too much it is to the budget that they are this is one that a customer's left here and had one of these fitted they're all right but bear in mind that's 10 kilos that i think is more and you can see you get substantially more out of the same weight on the rear door than you do this one it's the reason that the last customer changed from this to one of these is it killed his door and like i say this isn't against any particular fabricator but what i want you to do is take a look at what you get for the money so if this is all you can get this is all you can afford go for it it's better than not having a wheel carrier however if you have got the budget or you prioritize something like that over a few more parts there we go one of the only issues um, that we're going to have and he did tell me um, try and get some 180 hinges to stop the door from coming all the way around they're a slightly different hinge with different pivot points um, I couldn't get any in time um, I will probably put some on later on so they're just going to have to adapt my hinges which isn't as strong as he wants um, so disclaimer for him kind of thing isn't it but we'll roll with what we've got for now and it's something that I can change later down the line Go, go, go. 6.8 So basically they already do the high roof version of this um, But this is like the prototype for the low roof version um, But there's going to be more to come Because we know a couple of people that have now got the low roofs He's now got himself a low roof Because this, this proper influencer came round, right? He took one look at it and he's like I've got to get one of them basically what he's doing there is he's making a part so because they do the, the high roof one and I'm having a low roof one he's going to make a little insert that goes into the tube and then another bit that goes over the top of it weld it all up so it keeps that rigidity and the sturdiness of it once this one's made they can then make the jig and then this will all be done in a one or without the joints um, so it works out two ways one I get the first one that's done and two they get to make a jig out of it and make more of them See, that's where a high roof one would go and what they're going to do is they're going to cut that down and there's going to be a join on this one but for any future ones there won't be a join because they'll have the jig to do it
That's where it's going to go. Ah, you think it's weird, that's how that would be. That's a bad pair of mine, isn't it? Yeah. I am just waiting, waiting for the armchair fabricators to get on this one. You know they're coming. We have lunch. Lunch. I've actually got this pop bottle corner on. That's just like your rubber bushing, you know what I mean? So when we tighten that up, it'll just squish it in a little bit. So this is a big difference between these ones and the cheaper ones, because the cheaper ones don't go to the extent where they're making load spreading parts, where it's it's got the bit of bushing, so you've got a bit of flex in it, so it's not taking it out on your door, but at the same time, because there's multiple skins there, there's pressure on all the skins, so it's not just battering the skin of the door. Or, if you just reverse into something ever so slightly, you're not gonna do the same amount of damage. So there we go. Excuse the background noise. We've got a working industrial estate here, but Wow, what can I say? What a product. Um, the, like I said before, there's loads of different wheel carri carriers out there. I'm not knocking any spe specific builder, fabricator, what have you. There's different qualities for different budgets, and that's the biggest thing is go for what works for you or what you can afford. It's not a knock on anybody, but I've had the opportunity to get a proper, proper top of the line one, and I've jumped all over it. I was supposed to be spending the money on the camp a bit inside, but by putting the spare wheel on the back, I can now put underslung tanks underneath. So it's win-win for the build. So yeah, if you haven't already checked out Mule Vans, check them out. Everything will be in the description down below. Um, the build's gonna start now. Uh, I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna start stripping out the inside, insulating, soundproofing, and doing them tasks. So if you wanna see this thing from start to finish as a van to camper van, hit that subscribe. See you later.